Servus and welcome back, it's me again, Sebastian or the Mu. In this video, I will explain to you how to set up your Twitch panels that you purchased at Onto.tv. So first, you have to download your package or your panels. To do so, you visit Onto.tv. On the top right corner, you click on account and then my downloads. As you can see here, I purchased the Brave Premium Stream Overlay package that includes my panels. All you have to do is select your language and download the package. Now that you have your package, head over to twitch.tv. I assume you're already logged in. Click on the top right corner and choose channel. So now you're on your channel. As you can see, my channel is currently a bit boring. Let's change that with some new panels. To access the panels, just click on about. And as you can see here, it's nothing added yet. And there is a button called edit panels. And if you click the switch, you see this gray little area. Now, all you have to do is click and you can start a new panel and we will choose add a text or image panel. Click on that and now you created your first blank panel. As you can see, your blank panel has a title, an image, as well as a link to the image and a description. So what you can do, for example, is you can give it a title called Owned Best Test because it's true. Then we copy that and we also put it in the description. If I click on Submit and we wait a little bit, and we click on edit panels again, you can see we now created our first only text panel. So if this is what you want, that's how you can do it. Quite easy. But of course, we want to set up our beautiful new Brave panels. So we click on edit panels again, we delete this beautiful title, and we click on add image. And now you can choose a file or drag and drop it here. Obviously, drag and drop is quite easy. So let me show you. So this is how your folder looks like once you unzipped it. As you can see here, so you click on files and then you click on static panels. Click on PNG and now you see all the available panel options as well as a blank panel so you can create your own. So obviously the first thing we want to do is we want to add an own panel because obviously we love own. So we do that. As you can see, it is already perfectly sized and all you have to do is click done, submit, which is very important. Click on edit panel. You can see that our own panel is updated. Very beautiful. You can't click on it yet, but you have the text saying owned best test, so it works. I want to remove the text to just show you the image itself, and then we add a link to it. So we type in https owned.tv. We submit again, we click on edit panels, and now the panel is clickable. So if I click on the panel, it sends me directly to owned.tv, and actually I should buy some more things, but I will do that later. So we head back, and this is our first panel all said and done. Obviously, this is quite lonely, so we'll add some more panels. Again, click on Edit Panels, click on the gray plus sign, add a text or image panel, add the image, open up your folder again, and this time we will add a donate panel. We drag and drop, we click on Done, we submit it, we wait until it's finished submitting, and then we click on Edit Panels again. And as you can see, now we have two panels next to each other. By the way, did you know that Own.pro offers a free donation link that you can use for your stream? So if you still need a donation link, check out Own.pro and get your free PayPal donation link right now. This is it. Just repeat the process and you can set up all your Twitch panels the same way. I promise you two little tips that I want to show you right now before we end this video. So the first tip, it may seem very simple, but I didn't know this when I started streaming, so it might help you. If you click on edit panels, you can rearrange the panels by drag and dropping them which I didn't know because it doesn't look like you can actually just drag them around. So I switched owned and donate. I click on edit panels and as you can see, they switch place. So this might help you because I struggled at the start not knowing what to do. The second tip is also something I figured out for my own stream, which I really, really like. So I wanted a blank space between my panels to separate them. What you can do is you click on edit panels, you add another panel, you click on add panel, image, and then take a look into the description of this video. We added a free link with a transparent panel. Just download the panel and add it via drag and drop. Click on done. I submit. And what I do now is I can take this panel and I put it in between those two panels. And what happens is there's now a blank space. So I really like this tip because I wanted to separate the panels in a certain way because some panels have text and some don't. And I wanted to have some sort of separation in between them to make it look better and more appealing to the views. Keep in mind, this works best for desktop users and it might not have the same result for mobile users. But it's still a quite nifty trick in my opinion. So this is it. I hope I could help you set up your Twitch panels and give you some nice input. 
We don't wish you the best for your streaming career, many new followers and loyal viewers, and we hope to see you around again soon. Thank you for watching.